Uh, I, don't, I don't think we've moved Harper Car, have we? Or have we? We might have moved it once, I think. I think we said summer uh, for, for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Saying summer, yeah. There's, there's the schedule right there on the wall. Look, look. We, Wait, we moved it? launch 6th of August. <laughs> yeah, it's already out. It's that been is, out for nearly a month. This is a piece of paper we made a while ago. <laughs> and it's completely false. <laughs> it's wrong. Why, yeah, why don't I see you guys on App Annie? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, so uh, as part of that 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 release schedule, are are you is is part of that that you you guys have lined up media coverage and and done outreach to media sources or or is that just like yeah you know, so. that's just well, the day that you guys want to release things? No, that's um, I mean that that's what I guess that's uh, it's a date that we just kind of based on roughly when we assumed that we'd be ready. Uh, and, and you know, I think we only decided that probably about a month ago. You know, so, so you're not saying like, oh, I, we've got to get this done and this done and this done before we can launch. You're just saying like, this is a this is kind of when we think we'll be done, and we'll just put a pin in the calendar. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And okay. that, you know, I, we're kind of working towards giving ourselves a week or so to produce the trailer, and you know, this this that, and the other. We we just kind of plot out rough. Uh, blocks of time to actually create the stuff we need to create. So you, do you, um, so you guys don't have like a media schedule where you're kind of like, oh, I gotta get, you know, I gotta get a review back from this person, and and then I gotta make sure that I follow up with that person. Do you have anything like that? Just no. We just kind of email everyone we can with. So we'll make some content to send out. Like uh, Simon does some like really good uh, emails. What do you call them? Yeah, uh, email. <laughs> um, <laughs> especially uh, <laughs> mail. No, it's like where you make it all graphical. It's got gifts in it and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I do it's like a, it's got a name. I'm sure. I can't well, I just we, we I just do like a you know a fairly nice sort of promotional email. I, I as a as a kind of branding from a branding background, I like to make sure everything looks the same, feels the same. Uh, we definitely made the mistake with Hopico uh, of announcing a little bit too early. You know, we didn't quite have the style. We, the rough style was there, but the color and the feel for everything else wasn't quite there. And you know, we we realized that with this, we we've got you know various different kind of colors about and stuff like that. And you know, which should make it even more important for me to now make sure it's absolutely nailed and it always looks the same when people see it over the next sort of two months or well next month or so. Um, so yeah. Yeah, but but that's that's what we do. We we put together a nice email, uh, good content. You know, make sure we get the game across really quickly and the best point parts of the game. You know how we feel uh, or what we feel are the best parts of the game. Deliver that in a kind of boom email and you know see what sort of response we get back from that. The, the way that the way that you're responding to these questions reminds me a lot of Greg Pugh over at GP Animations. You know, he he says. Uh, I say, well, what do you do? what do you do to market your app, Mr. Greg? What do you you know? And he says, well, I don't, I really don't do anything. And he says, I said, well, I see you set up a Facebook page for that thing, and he says, yeah, well, I did that, you know, and I, and I see that you created a, you created like this ebook, and I see that you created like he, like all these different things, right? And he's like, well, yeah, I did all those things, but I didn't really do anything to market the book. And I'm, are you know, I'm like, are you kidding me? Uh, that's a good you know, point. like. You know, so so I can imagine when you're saying, "Well, I just I just sent them an email," you know, and it's it's just it's just uh, silver leafed, you know. It, it's actually clinically calculated in the background, you know. <laughs> you're right, actually. You know, every little moment, I'm like, yeah. "Oh, okay. yeah. and now they're going to see this, and now they're going to see this." You know? Right. Yeah. I just happened to show up and mow their yard and and wash their car. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> really, really expect anything from them, you know. <laughs> No, but one thing I think you guys did that was really smart, at least for, I mean, maybe this is niche, maybe it just yeah, applies to me because I'm a fan and a developer and all of that, but early on, before I even think I saw any graphics of it, I follow you guys on Twitter, and I saw you're putting up these sort of clips of the process of making the music, which I didn't even know that there was like a Game Boy modding scene, that people were using these to, to sort of uh, compose music, and you'd put up these little clips of, of you doing it, and, and you would get to hear it, and... I mean, I thought of this almost as a music game than anything before, when, from the beginning because that was my first yeah, entry yeah. point to, hey, we're working on something new and we're working on the music for it and here's what it is. And I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, it got me interested early on. Um, so, you know, what you're doing is working. Cool. Yeah. Okay. yeah that's, a good, that's, a, that's a good point, Jason. Thanks for bringing that up because, uh, you know, it seems like the developers who do well... Um, to get their message across to to our build an audience beforehand seems like they they do things like that they share the development experience they share the behind the scenes you know and and it's not 
it's not waiting to the last minute to say, okay, we're here, now pay, please pay attention to us. You know, it's kind of like, hey, we've been here all along, and, and, and you guys have been watching, and then boom, you know, here's, here it is. Actually, uh, what's interesting about the way we work is we're actually fairly split opinion on that. You know, Rob is definitely more keen to get stuff out. I'm more keen to hold on to it. And between us, I think that works well because, you know, I like to I like to hold on to a nice big chunk of work that people can see and actually get their hands on and be blown away by it. And, I, you know, I'm, I think pe people can be... Um, it, it, I think it's a bit risky to kind of keep just drip feeding, drip feeding, drip feeding, and give everything away. You know, you know, you're, you're, it like devalues the, the yeah. main picture. You still want, yeah. you still want like a big impact. You know, when when you actually get when you get it out. You know, you, you want surprises in there, and you look at all oh, great sort of marketing companies, and they're very careful about that. I mean, you know, I, I often kind of look at Nintendo and the way they market new games, and particularly with new IP. So, so you you kind of want, you kind of favor just enough just enough release to to pique curiosity, but then still leave enough for the big reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I just get excited, and I just want to. Put it on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you get very twitchy, don't you, Rob? You just want to get something out quickly, and I'm like, no, 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 let's hang on. So, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. All right. Well, I, th I think we're going to run out of time. We're not going to be able to get to uh, the the last part of our development, or not the last part of it, but the, the part four of it. But uh, before we before we kind of close things out, tell us where can people find Topico, what what Hopco, or whatever, however we're pronouncing it, and uh, what. Uh, where should they follow you online to get more information? Uh oh, did we get off? We lost. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. we're having a little bit. Of, we're having a little bit of lag. Say that again. I'm getting some links links for you in the chat. In the chat, I don't know if if people can see the links in the chat, but it's hopico gamecom Um, our Twitter is twitter.com forward slash laserdog games. Um, I'll put them both in the chat. Yeah, so we'll be releasing 24th September. Uh, Android, iOS, definitely. OS X, very likely. PC, possibly. Windows 32. Um, yeah, yeah. And possibly UI as well. You know, we might we might sort of push it and uh, see if we can get on there as well. But yeah, 24th September, and we'll be out. Um, yeah. And I think we're releasing, I think it's, um, yeah, so we're doing a premium app. It's going to be $2.99. $2.99, I think it's the UK price. So I guess that's, I think, a tier three or tier four. I can't remember. I think that's maybe three forty nine in the US. Um, but I'm not entirely sure on that, actually. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the OSX PC version is going to be five ninety nine. dollars uh, Oh, sorry, no, four ninety nine, and then six ninety nine with the soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack's 15 tracks long now. <laughs> yeah, the soundtrack is really awesome. Thanks. Fantastic. So, so you're gonna have a bundle then? You're gonna have a, be able to buy both? Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the plan. Like, I've just f finished putting the soundtrack together, and it's it's like a full album. And so it'll be like, yeah, a bundle. Yeah, I, I found it. Uh, like I said, over on Bandcamp, or, or or portion some of the tracks over on Bandcamp, and uh, and you know, I was. The other day while I was working, I just had it on in the background, just playing it. I was, you know, <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. It's like yeah, good stuff. We, we've listened to it an awful lot over the last <laughs> I, couple yeah, of months. I can it's imagine. Cool. It, yeah. it's, cool. I mean, it's good. You, you really know, like, if a soundtrack's solid or not when you listen to it like we listen to soundtracks. Um, yeah. Well, well, I tell you what. Thanks, you got. Thanks, guys, for being on the show with us. I'm gonna um, sign us off, but please hang on afterwards. I've got some questions for you that, uh, after after the show. Uh, but everybody, thanks for being here, and uh, thanks for visiting. Be sure to go to laserdog.co.uk. We'll put links to everything in the show notes, and look for Hapiko coming out uh, September 24th. It's, it's a great game. It's fast-paced. It's a great puzzler, um, and uh, as we've talked about, it's got some awesome music to it. You're really going to like it. So, it and it looks good. It looks great. It's, it's definitely... Yeah, great, it's, great was the word I was seeking. Yeah, it's <laughs> fantastic. So look for that, and uh, thanks for being here, and have a great week, and happy coding. Thanks. Cheers.